Hey guys, Scott here, Pine Baron Craftsman. Um, this little culprit here, we all know what it is, okay? It caused a lot of havoc in these cars because of what's inside of them. This is the old battery tray. I guess somebody thought it was a good idea to put these plastic, fake, phony, don't look underneath covers. And uh, I know what it is, you know, it's always the case. I didn't think there was going to be anything less but that there. This is a good pattern if I want to remake a template out of some spare sheet metal. But you can see that that's going to be over there by the trash. This is taking a break. All right. I was also told that I'm saying the word radiator. It should be called a radiator. And I've been saying this for the last 25 years with the same friend. But apparently he's uh, telling me now that I'm a celebrity on YouTube. That I need to straighten out my terms. Okay, so this is what's underneath the battery tray. That's the front body mount. This is the inner fender well, as you can see. It's a little bit of rust where the two meet. And there's a little bit of rust there. Um, I'm gonna say that this panel is not completely lost, but it's getting there. And now this vertical piece here, I'm gonna tap it with the light here. This piece here, that vertical piece over there looks beautiful compared to this one. I'll come on the other angle. Come around. You can see there's a little rust, which I'm going to probably cut that stuff out. The vertical piece. I think this is the mount for the old air conditioner lines. I'm going to get that out of the way. And I'm going to order a replacement radiator from wherever. And I'm going to try to get the mounts for the bottom. There was no rubber on the bottom of this. There was no side cushions. It was up against this hard metal here. Rubbing. It's all wavy and wiggly. See? And then these brackets, I doubt, were the original uh, mentality here. But this is all we had holding the radiator from falling backwards. So I think I need to get something that mounts here, here, there, and there as a uh, cap for the top of the radiator, radiator, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna treat this area with the wire wheel first and then hit it with some rust preventative. And then the new battery tray, I think maybe we could weld some metal in here where it's rusting, uh, figure out where the structure is most important. Cause I would think that this is the front corner of the car. I don't know if you can see it better without the light on it. Um, so that's obviously a body mount for a reason, right? So if I push down on the car, there is no movement, but I can see this area and that area becoming weak. So maybe we could use the chance we have now to strengthen this and then put a pat uh, battery tray in there and maybe think about just shoring up the structure. You know, it's not falling apart. This is minimal as far as restoration goes. Some people might rip that out. Like if you go in on this side, it's all pretty dry. Um, like I'm pushing on the car and nothing's moving. We got to think like, what are we doing with this car? You know, how far are we taking it? Is this going to be just a driver? Yeah. Is it going to be fun? Yeah. Am I going to be riding on dirt roads? Yeah. So I'm not going to get too crazy. I want to still be able to do some fishtail drifties in the dirt, you know, without caring. Because that's really what it's about. I don't care. Thanks for... Uh, Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Shoot some radiator ideas. I already got Cold Case one, uh, Champion. Um, if you know of a kit, nice kit, that's like under a thousand dollars, maybe six hundred, five hundred, eight hundred dollars. It'd be nice. I'd rather not spend fifteen hundred dollars for a, a radiator setup for this. Um, the old ones over here wasn't crashed it wasn't leaking but i think it was on its way there were some fins that were rubbing maybe somebody wants to buy this you know inside you can see some build up in there see the little build up you got to put distilled water in these radiators you can't run minerals from a, uh, a well you gotta make sure you have distilled water a lot of people i don't know if they know that that's why i buy the pre-mixed stuff everybody's like hey, why are you buying the pre-mixed you should buy the concentrate. Well, I don't have distilled water at my house. Uh, you know, I don't have the time to make distilled water or uh, 
play games going to the shopping center for it. So I just buy the radiator juice, radiator juice, whatever you want to call it, radiator. Um, that goes in it, green, the green machine. Pulled out some of these cooling lines. I'm never going to run an air conditioner in here. Not in this climate that I live in. Look at this. I got wires hanging out. This is the kind of stuff like, like what are we doing here? Stupid. Going to clip all that out of the way. Chase it back. Eliminate it. Yeah, and then it'll give a nice look to it. Then you'll be able to see the front of the motor. I'll paint that blue bracket, maybe black. And just go with the orange intake manifold. And whatever shiny I could shine up. I mean, maybe I could spray that pulley silver. I don't know. I think it's fine. Black, silver, whatever. Like I said, it's going to be for rooster tails. And uh, coming up the muddy trail here. Thanks for watching. One of the reasons why I'm looking at getting rid of the, the shaker hood and doing something is that I bought this high-rise intake and the air cleaner is kind of small and it goes up in there and there's no way for that to breathe. So, um, kick that stuff down the hill. Let's close the hood. As you can see, first of all, it's not a big block, 6.6, .6, and there's no way for this to breathe. You know, this is solid. I mean, I guess if the car was running and driving down the road, wind would be coming through and out there and coming in, and it would be cross ventilation to the air cleaner. But uh, at least maybe we should drill some holes in that. Maybe make like a honeycomb drilled looking back to it or cut it out completely just to have an open slot. You let me know. This is your time to comment because if I do it and you don't like it, well, you didn't tell me. So, Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.